I think this word problem is kind of tricky. It plays on the fact that when you take three-fourths of an area of a rectangle, there are many different ways that you can do that. For example, you could just take three-fourths of the length and keep the width the same. That would result in three-fourths of the total area. Conversely, you could do the opposite. You could keep the length the same and take three-fourths of the width, and that would also lead to three-fourths of the area. The resulting rectangles from those two approaches would look different, but their area would be the same. Now, of course, there is a million other different combinations where you reduce both the length and the width by different percentages and overall get to three-fourths of the area, but we don't need to worry about that in this case because the question is asking for the difference in perimeter, essentially, right? How much fence is needed? So the difference between those two extreme possibilities. The first one, where we take three-fourths of the length, but keep the width the same, and the second one, where we do the opposite. So let's go one by one. If we take three-fourths of the length, that would be a length of 30, because three-fourths of 40 is 30. And that would actually lead to a square. That's a very special kind of rectangle. It would be 30 by 30. And the amount of fence needed would be 4 times 30, so 120. We'd need 120 feet of fence. Now, on the other hand, if we take 3 fourths of the width, so 3 fourths of 30, that would be 22 and a half. And the length in that case is still 40. So we've got 2 times 40 for the length and 2 times 22 and a half for the widths, that's 45. Uh, so 2 times 40 is 80, 80 plus 45, that's 125. Now our number for the first version was 120, now we have 125. The question is asking for the difference, and so that difference is 5. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.